Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez with the morning announcements. Good morning, Elle. Good morning, Sadie. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Did, did you guys get haircuts or something? You look a little bit different to me today. Hmm. No. I'm not sure what it is, but let's go to a new flag here, guys. I have a new flag from Ava. She is a first grader. What do you think? I really oh. like it. Really cool. Very, very creative. Very artsy. That's Ava in the first grade. Elle, will you lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance? Push your right hand over your heart and begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Big shout out to Ava in the first grade. Uh, thank you, L. Happy Friday, everybody. Today is Friday, October 15th, a day we've been waiting for for a while. Uh, we're expecting a high of 87 degrees in Studio City. That means it's going to be a beautiful day, and it's going to be warm tonight. Uh, ladies, who are we dressed up like today? Any ideas? Let me show you this picture. Hold on. Who is this? I feel like I recognize well, well, we've got like four of them on our screen right now. Uh, that yeah. is Miguel from the movie Coco. Uh, and Sadie, why are we highlighting Miguel today? We're highlighting Miguel today because we are, it's movie night tonight and we're going to be watching and we're watching the film Coco. That's right. Now, uh, we have our faces painted like Miguel does in the movie. Uh, and this is in the style of Dia de los Muertos which is a holiday celebrated through Latin America and many countries on November 2nd. Ladies, do you know a whole lot about Dia de los Muertos? Not really. Not okay, so really. A lot of people think it's like the Mexican Halloween, which it really isn't, not related at all. But I have a little video to teach everybody about the Dia de los Muertos. Let me put that on the screen now, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Here it comes. <laughs> So that is a quick video on what Dia de los Muertos is all about. Ladies, what'd you learn in that quick video there? I learned that it's celebrated on November 2nd and it celebrates the people who, or loved ones who passed. Yeah. And did you see how they were decorating the grave sites with all the beautiful flowers there? Sadie, what'd you think about it? Oh, it's Sadie. I think you're muted. You're muted. Oh, oh. Okay, sorry. Okay. Um, I think it's 
to, I think it was like, I feel, I learned that it was, it was, they used a lot of music in it. They would do a lot of music. And then also they would put up pictures of their loved ones. Yes. Time. And it was called an ofrenda. An ofrenda is like you, you create almost like a little altar in your home and you celebrate one person who is deceased and you put the food that they would eat, the drinks that they would like to drink, maybe some of their clothes and you remember them and you think about all the wonderful times that you had with them uh, when they were alive. So that is a little bit about Dia de los Muertos. Miguel in the movie goes back to the land of the dead and has to come back uh, thanks to the help of one of his, uh, his deceased relatives. I believe it's like his great grandfather. And so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, guys, let's tell everybody about movie night. It's back, it's tonight, October 15th, five to 8.30. Yeah. Our future film will be Coco the movie. We'll have we'll have lots of food trucks and even a trail stand. Live mariachi music will also be performed. Everyone can dress up up that day for the fiesta, Cinco de Mayo, or a character from the movie. That's right. Now, Sadie, at about two o'clock today, we're going to be giving away a lot of prizes. Right? Uh, remind yes. everybody what we're giving away today. Okay, um, we will be giving away a, a Miguel doll and a Dante dog doll. Yeah, and, and posters a and a color and a activity book. We got some activity books. We got some posters from the movie. So today is the ultimate day for Cougar Coupon winners. Uh, that's going to be at about two o'clock today. L, it's Friday. Do you have some uh, L's weird but true facts for us? Yes. Okay, take it away. We can't wait. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. What a big day it is today. Did you say we're going to have churros tonight? Yeah. Whoa. It's going to be. I'm going to definitely have one. Um, Can you see it? Yep. We're yep. good. We're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your internal organisms can shiver. Your internal organs can shiver? Like the uh, your everything that's inside your body? can shiver yeah well i kind of mm -hmm. believe that because like when i get cold i can feel my body kind of shaking a little bit and, and quivering um, yeah. so is this a question or or is this a statement it's a statement okay so sadie did you know that i did not know that <laughs> not that at all. is a weird but true fact thank you l number two A museum in Japan lets kids slide into a huge toilet exhibit while wearing a poop shades hat. What? Oh my gosh. I want to go there. <laughs> Elle is back with a poop uh, weird but true. So is this a real thing, Elle, or did you make this up? I, I did not make this up. This is real. So there's a slide and it, and it's like a giant toilet bowl and then you get to the very bottom and, and you have to wear that hat with the poop on it. Wait, yeah. Where does it lead to at the end? Yeah, some some dirty pipe. Uh, Sadie, would you go down that slide? I I don't think so. <laughs> maybe maybe not. I well, see, I, I want to see it, but I don't know if I would want to go in it. Yeah. Well, we can agree it is a weird <laughs> but true fact. Number three. Shoe stores used to take X-rays of customers' feet to check the fit of the footwear. So before they would sell them like a shoe, they would take an x-ray to check the fit to make sure it was a proper shoe. Wow. That That's... really is uh, going above and beyond for your customers, right? Yeah, like yeah. just let me just take an x-ray, see if everything's good, then let's throw on the shoe. Wow. <laughs> I bet that happened at Nordstrom. I bet they would do that. Well, <laughs> L, that's a third weird. But true fact. Thank you, L. I, it's been a while since you had a, a poop one in there, so I'm, I'm glad it's back. Uh, one quick reminder before we do the words of wisdom, everybody. Uh, the doodle board, we brought that back this week, and the theme was, uh, what was your favorite song? We do want to remind everybody that the doodle board when you write on that board, you stick to the prompt. So if the prompt is about songs and what your favorite song is, that's what you should be writing about and nothing else. So we want everybody to be responsible. We want everybody to stick to the prompt, stay focused and do a good job on our doodle board. So please help us by doing that. Ladies, let's do the words of wisdom. 
Former President Harry Truman once said, I have fought all my life against prejudice. 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 What does it mean to be prejudiced? You've probably heard the saying, you can't judge a, you can't judge a book by its cover. When we prejudge someone, we make a decision about the kind of person they are without looking beyond the cover, the cover of their skin and their and what they're wearing and what the clothes that they wear without seeing what's on the inside. That's right. Every single one of us has the right to be accepted and understood as a person, not because of the shoes we wear or the size of our house or the place we worship. Today, let's think about what Mr. Truman said and work towards seeing what it, what is on the inside of people. With something to think about, this is Mr. Martinez. And Al. And Sadie. Make it a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. Real quick, Sadie, uh, what are your plans for movie night tonight? Um, my plans for movie tonight, tonight, I'm going to be seeing my friends. I'm going to be doing the Miss Ray's let's get loud dance okay, and cool. have a and try and intend on having i intend on having a really good night okay what about you l i plan on i guess staying at school until five well it'll probably later maybe about 8 8 30 by the time the movie's over well, yeah, yeah that's right all right everybody have a great movie night have a wonderful day remember we're giving those prizes away at two o'clock ladies yeah. have a great day at school today bye, bye guys